clones set up at the Texas Pinball Festival last March. And then on the far, far left is a, a solid state game. And then actually somebody brought uh, some of the home edition games. So we had quite a collection of evil games at the last TPF. So uh, I have been commissioned by a couple people to build them some evil Knievels. Let me just advance the slides. And quick bio, I won't bore you with this, but uh, I've been in the pinball business since 1981. I've uh, been restoring games heavily in the last 20, 25 years. And so Evil Knievel is a labor of love. Again, there's only 155 of these games made. So um, people love the old feel, uh, they love the feel of the old EM style. So uh, to meet the need, I take night Riders and turn them into Evil Knievels. So, uh, the Bally Knight Rider, there is 4,000 4, of the EMs made, so I don't feel too bad taking uh, Knight Rider and uh, carving it up and uh, producing it as Evil Knievel. So, um, so far I am up to uh, four uh, re-themes of the Knight Riders to Evil Knievel. So what does it take? Well, there's 13 relays uh, added. 12 to the underside of the playfield, rewire some of the other relays, a little bit of rewiring to the score motor. Uh, luckily, there are reproduction playfields out there from CPR. And then I have a source in the Netherlands uh, that uh, can do me some mirrored back glasses. And why do I do it? Well, the demand is there for these games. So, so here's a quick picture of the playfield. Uh, again, I uh, wish I had a pointer, but Oh, that is a laser pointer. Now, let's see if I can figure out how to use the laser pointer. Let's see. Ah, there we go. There we go. So, yeah, there is um, uh, five relays added here, tw seven relays added there, and then some more stuff on the bottom board. And, and basically, just lead by lead rewiring uh, these games to uh, bring the feature set of a Knight Rider uh, to Evil Knievel. So. Bottom board updates, added, added a couple of relays, works a bunch of other relays. Uh, there is a four bump score motor disc needed for some of the, uh, uh, the uh, bonus. As you can see uh, uh, on line nine, that was a three bump for Knight Rider. So I needed a, a, f a four bump. Well, I took a, a five bump and took a Dremel to it and made it a four bump. That's I'm an engineer, what are you going to do? So, um, And then, of course, there's a little bit of light board work, but it, it's amazing between Knight Rider and Evil Knievel, you know, 85% of it was done for me. The four player, the reset, you know, the, the over the top, you know, a lot of it was done for me. So it was, it was not bad. So it was, it was amazing when I finally got into it that, you know, it's all done. So as you can see, to, uh, to get the evil jumping the buses, uh, I, I did a little bit of cell work, you know, a little, uh, took some wood just to make the cells, a little bit of wiring, <laughs> and coming up with that digital board, I think I've got a picture of the digital board here. The, amazingly enough, in the electromechanical Evil Knievel, there is a, uh, a six gate flip flop, or I say six, I guess it's ten gate uh, flip flop board to do the continual bus jumper in there, and I, I've done Something similar, not quite the same, but I've done something similar to uh, get the uh, the jumping uh, evil can evil. And working on these valleys, they're always so hard to work once they're all put together. Getting down inside the cabinet to try to adjust a relay. So what I did is I glued together all on the on the bench. I've got the play field over on the left. I've got the bottom board. I've got the uh, the light board, I've got the coin door, I've got the fuse block, it's all plugged together so I could make sure it all worked. And you know, I, I find you know, a bunch of you know, six, seven, eight things that I need to correct before we put it all together. It's just, just some of the things we do to make them work. So, so and then down to, downstairs on the floor you'll see the, uh, my two latest games. So I built two games for the TPF show last March. 
and then I've got uh, two more games delivered here, and then I've got an order for one more that'll deliver in about the February time frame. And I've got pieces to probably build four or five more games if I needed to. There are one or two unique pieces, and I've sort of squirreled away the unique pieces. There is a, there is a certain cog on the zero to nine stepper unit that does an alternating relay function. And uh, just Steve Young at, at PBR had four of them sitting on the shelf and I sucked them all up and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, but that's basically it. And then uh, here's my wizard stuff that they were mentioned earlier. Another little project I did uh, the year before last is uh, there was a, uh, an ad ball game called Team One. It had the same layout as Abracadabra, but nobody liked the art on Team One. So I worked with uh, uh, an artist called Wade Krauss. Everybody knows Wade out in California that has done reproduction play fields for a lot of these EM games. And uh, so he produced uh, 28 play fields and 28 back glasses for me. So uh, I sold 12 as kits and then 16 as complete games. So I took basically a year and about every, every two weeks I built another, took another team one and turned it into the wizard, so uh, so you can see the the artwork, but it's basically a reskin of the team one, and gave it a better artwork package. So so that was the prior project, but that's me. Certainly, any questions? Go ahead. Yes, it did. Yeah, it, again, it just, they happened to use a four bump. And, you know, it, it, it's actually uh, the bonus. It was it, oh, it's scoring the bonus. So, that's pretty exciting. yeah, so this, this is right off the Evil Knievel EM uh, thing. So, line nine. Yeah. On the Night Rider, it was a three bump for something. Oh, it was the 3,000 at the top or something. Yeah. And then uh, Evil did four bump. So, go ahead. I'm painting. I'm, I'm using pinball pimp stencils to uh, repaint the cabinets. So that's it. I think so. What did I do? About eight minutes, ten minutes there, right? All right. There you go. All right. Thank you very much.